In the course, Use Conditional Formatting, we covered the basics of conditional formatting. Conditional formatting provides visual cues to help you make sense of your data. For example, it'll clearly show highs and lows, or other data trends, based on the criteria you specify. See the course summary at the end of this course for a link. In this course, we'll go over how to get that much more out of conditional formatting. You can apply it to specific cells, tables, pivot tables, and worksheets. For example, to quickly conditionally format these selected cells, you can use a quick analysis option, or an option on the conditional formatting button in the ribbon. But if you want more control over what type and when conditional formatting applies, click New Rule, select the rule type, such as Format All Cells Based on Their Values, select a format style, such as icon sets, select the icon style that you want. Icon sets range from three to five icons and numerous icon styles. I'm gonna leave it set to the default. For the green icon, I set the type of value to number. When I do this, the value is set to zero, overriding the previous value which is why I do it first. I'll leave the operator set to greater than or equal to and set the value to one. For the yellow icon, I set the value to 0.5. And the red icon is automatically set to less than 0.5. I click OK, and the values in the profit column are conditionally formatted by the new rule we just created. And I can see at a glance that dried pears, walnuts, and cottonseed oil have the highest profits. You can also format cells that are blank or contain errors. This time, select Format Only Cells That Contain. Select blanks or errors, choose the formatting you want, the options and combinations are virtually endless. I'm going to fill the cells that contain errors. Click OK, click OK again, and the cell with an error is formatted. For information about editing and deleting rules, see the final video of this course. Up next, use formulas to apply conditional formatting. To control more precisely what cells will be formatted, you can use formulas to apply conditional formatting. In this example, I'm going to format the cells in the product column if the corresponding cell in the in stock column is greater than 300. I select the cells I want to conditionally format. When you select a range of cells, the first cell you select is the active cell. In this example, I selected from B2 through B10. So B2 is the active cell. We'll need to know that shortly. Create a new rule. Select Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Since B2 is the active cell, I type equal sign E2 greater than sign 300. Note that in the formula, I used the relative cell reference E2 to make sure the formula adjusts to correctly format the other cells in column B. I click the Format button and choose how I want to format the cells. 
I'm going to use a blue fill. Click OK to accept the color. Click OK again to apply the format. And the cells in the product column, where the corresponding cell in column E is greater than 300, are conditionally formatted. When I change a value in column E to greater than 300, the conditional formatting in the product column automatically applies. You can create multiple rules that apply to the same cells. In this example, I want different fill colors for different ranges of scores. I select the cells I want to apply a rule to, create a new rule that uses the rule type, use a formula to determine which cells to format. I want to format a cell if its value is greater than or equal to 90. The active cell is B2, so I enter the formula equal sign B2 greater than sign equal sign 90 and configure the rule to apply a green fill when the formula is true for a cell. And the cell that has a value greater than or equal to 90 is filled with green. I create another rule for the same cells. But this time, I want to format a cell if its value is greater than or equal to 80 and less than 90. The formula is equal sign and open parenthesis B2 greater than or equal to 80, comma B2 less than 90. Closing parenthesis, and I choose a different fill color. I create similar rules for 70 and 60. The last rule is for values less than 60. The cells are now a rainbow of colors. And these are the rules we just created to enable this. Up next, manage conditional formatting. In the conditional formatting rules manager, you can choose to show formatting rules for areas of a workbook that have rules, such as the current selection, or a specific worksheet. You can then create, edit, and delete rules, as well as manage the precedence of rules for the cells or worksheet you selected. When conflicting rules apply to cells, the rule with higher precedence wins. By default, the most recently created rule is at the top of the list and has precedence over previously created rules. For example, in cells B2 through B10, I've already created two rules. The first rule I created is, if the cell value is greater than 70,000, make the fill color yellow. The next rule I created, and therefore the one with precedence, is if the cell value is greater than 60,000, make the fill color blue. In cell B2, for example, the value is greater than 70,000, but the value is also greater than 60,000, so the cell is formatted with a blue fill. The way the rules are currently ordered, cells that are greater than 70,000, which are always going to be greater than 60,000 too, are formatted with a blue fill. The 60,000 rule has precedence over the 70,000 rule. If we change the order of the rules, thereby changing the precedence, cells that are greater than 70,000 are formatted with a yellow fill, and cells that are greater than 60,000, but less than 70,000, are formatted with a blue fill. 
to see which cells of a worksheet have conditional formatting rules, possibly to investigate why they aren't working as you expect, click the Find and Select button on the Home tab, and then click Conditional Formatting. The cells that have conditional formatting rules are selected. In this example, there are two rules. One applies to cells that contain errors, and the other to cells that contain blank values. Neither case exists on the worksheet, which is why you don't see conditional formatting. But the rules are there. Another way to manage conditional formatting is to sort and filter based on the colors you apply. To sort a worksheet based on conditional formatting, select the cells you want to sort. Click the Sort and Filter button on the Home tab. The Sort and Filter group on the Data tab provides similar functionality. Click Custom Sort. In this example, the Profit column has icons that are green, yellow, and red circles. For Sort On, I select Cell Icon. I want the green icons at the top. I copy the sort rule and change it to the red icon and set it to on bottom. I click OK and the worksheet is sorted by conditional formatting. To filter a worksheet based on conditional formatting, select the cells you want to filter, click Sort and Filter, click Filter, click the filter down arrow for a column. Click Filter by Color. I want the red icons to remain visible, so I click it. And only the rows with red icons in the Profit column are displayed. Now you've got a pretty good idea about how to take full advantage of conditional formatting. Of course, there's always more to learn, so check out the course summary at the end, and best of all, explore Excel 2013 on your own.